YouTube, what's going on? Kate here from MP Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Um, today we have an interesting video for you guys. Uh, now that I've been able to commit to Southern New Hampshire University, we thought we would do uh, a video on what things I would tell my 10-year-old tennis self. So hopefully you guys, uh, whether you're a parent, a player, a coach, can maybe take some of these things and talk to, you, talk to your player or learn from them. And uh, yeah, so number one is results don't matter. Um, this is one of the things I would really fall into the trap with uh, is I would be constantly, constantly worrying about where I placed in a tournament, how I did in practice matches. Um, I was even worried about how other people were doing um, in different tournaments and that kind of leads into a future point that I'll be talking about. But I was always worried about my results. Uh, you know, your results really don't matter when you're a junior player. Um, they, they, I mean, they do maybe when you get to about second year U, U16 or U18, but they still don't even matter then. Um, nobody's ever going to ask you, uh, how did you do in the 2012 uh, provincial tournament and who was the winner? Like, nobody's ever going to ask you that. Um, just just think of your results as, as imp your, how you're constantly improving and you just want to get better every single day. So don't worry about your, your results. Um, just try and get better every single day. Number two. Um, now, I think this one's super important. Um, it is try and have one to two coaches. So I know that I work really well with only having one to two coaches in my ear because I'm somebody that if I'm getting too much information, um, it kind of goes in one ear and out the other just because for me, I can only obtain so much information at once. So if you're having multiple coaches, um, you know, trying to flip flip around with your game, change some things in your game, it could be really tough on you. So maybe, I know for me, one to two works well, and I think it does for most people. So try and limit yourself to one to two coaches max, um, as it, I think it will be beneficial for your game. Number three, so this is what one of the points that I was talking about earlier that I said I would lead into, and it is don't worry about other players. Um, so, I would always worry about how other people were doing in tournaments, where they're going, what kind of training they're getting, and that was just a waste of, of time and energy and thinking. So you can only worry about yourself and you can only control what you do. So when I was younger, I was always thinking about, you know, where are these, there, I had friends that would be leaving and going to academies and, you know, since my family were not super rich, we kind of had to work within our needs and we would always be staying in Atlantic Canada. So just know that, you know, you're on your journey. If you keep working hard and working smart, everything will work out. So just know that everybody's on their own journey and it will end up being okay and only worry about yourself. Uh, that will relieve a lot of, a lot of stress. Number four. Now this one sounds pretty simple, but it's actually really important and it is to warm up properly. Um, I've actually always warmed up, but I've really learned over the past couple of years about how important the warm up is and exactly what you do. So, you know, a, a warm up to me isn't, oh, oh yeah, your next court, you're going to go, go do a run down down on the grass there for 30 seconds. That is not a warm up, guys. Um, you should be stretching, you should be, you know, doing some sort of routine that helps you really get dialed in and ready for your match and practice for that matter. So a couple things that I like to use for warming up, I like to use my skipping rope, I like to use my massage gun, and I also like to use these bands. Now these are just a couple tools I like to use, but you should be really spending a good amount of time on your warm up as it can really be beneficial for your match. So, you know, I know when you're younger, um, you can kind of just walk out on the court and feel like a million bucks, but you know, as you get older, um, the warm up becomes more and more important. So super important to warm up. Um, I highly, highly recommend that you guys play multiple sports as long as possible. Um, when I was younger, I played, I obviously played tennis, I played hockey, 
badminton, golf, baseball. I even tried soccer for a bit, even though I hated it. Um, but it's really important to play multiple sports because it's really good for your athletic development. And if you do really like one sport, it's good to, to do different things so you don't get burnt out of that one sport. I've seen multiple athletes only focus on one sport and eventually get burnt out and it's really sad. So play multiple sports um, and it's good to learn different things too. So um, that's, that's something I did. I, my two favorites were definitely tennis and hockey. And I've said this in previous videos, I stopped playing hockey at around 15 years old because that I kind of had to if I wanted to pursue tennis because we were going to do lots of driving. But anyway, kind of rambling there, but make sure you guys play multiple sports. It's really good for you. Since I was at times driving three hours a day to be able to play tennis uh, all through the week or I was living away from home from two, for two years, I had to make sure I was on top of my schoolwork at all times. Um, Especially if you guys want to, to go to college and play tennis, um, staying on top of your schoolwork, uh, super, super important and make sure your time management is really good. So, you know, if you have a long day at the courts, um, it's not, and, and you have schoolwork to do, it's not time to go play video games or go hang out with friends, right? Um, make sure you get that schoolwork done. I know uh, if there's younger kids that are going to watch this video, you guys are going to hate me on this one, but... It's actually super important and you'll thank me later um, since if you do go to college, that's like actually most of the work. So make sure you're getting your schoolwork done, pass in those projects and, pa and do well on those tests because it's only going to help you. And last but not least, we have the last one and it is play as many matches as you can. Um, I was a little bit fussy on this one and I shouldn't have been. Um, you should play as many matches as possible, whether you're playing people your same level, um, better than you, or not as good as you. Because if you're gonna play against somebody better, you're gonna learn from them, and it's gonna help you. If you're gonna play somebody that's around your level, it'd be a really good match and super competitive. And if you're playing somebody that's not as good as you, you can still have a lot of fun, but you also can work on so many things when you're playing against somebody that you aren't as good as. But um, it's super important to have like match play and stuff, and that's something I wish I was able to do more of. And it's all about having fun too. So if you can go out there and play with a buddy and just have fun, I can't. I think that's amazing. You should do that as much as possible because you know what? It is all about having fun, and if you're having fun, that's what we want. So. That's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I was actually super pumped about giving you guys uh, these little tips that I thought uh, I would tell my 10 year old self. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are enjoying the content and enjoying the channel, please consider liking um, as we really love running MP Tennis and we really love helping you guys with the content. So please subscribe, please like, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the court or somewhere else.